The Indian Premier League has been a gold mine for investors. In 2009, a year after the franchise owned Cricket League launched, Forbes published its first, and only, valuations of the league's teams, pegging the average value of the eight franchises at $67 million. With the league having recently expanded to 10 clubs, that average is now up to $1.04 billion, an annualized growth rate of 24%. By contrast, over the past 13 years, the growth rate has been 10% for NFL team values, to $3.48 billion, and 16% for NBA team values, to $2.48 billion. And the IPL's most valuable franchise, the $1.3 billion Mumbai Indians, is now worth more than 6 MLB teams, 27 NHL teams and every MLS team. The IPL is the most prominent cricket league in the world in terms of attracting sponsors and media rights, says Ajimon Francis, managing director at DAW. A lot of credit goes to founders of the IPL, who took ideas from the NBA and European soccer leagues, and good governance by the BCCI with regards to clear visibility of team funding and ensuring the tournament continued during COVID. Transaction prices illustrate the rise in evaluation. The Deccan Chargers were thrown out of the IPL in 2012 for failing to pay their players, but they were soon replaced by the Sunrisers Hyderabad in a deal that saw Sun TV pay more than double what Deccan Chronicle Holdings had paid for the team in 2008. In 2018, when JSW Group nabbed a 50% stake in the Delhi Daredevils from GMR Group, the cricket team, now the Delhi Capitals, was valued at $169 million, twice the amount GMR paid. Private equity has recently taken notice. In June, Redbird Capital, which owns nearly 11% of Finway Sports Group, bought a 16% stake in the Rajasthan Royals at a valuation slightly above $200 million. There is a lot of excitement from investors looking to invest in the IPL, says Karen Tarani, Senior Vice President at Investment Bank L. The average expansion fee paid by the original eight owners in 2008 was $90 million. Forbes' initial values were lower because the fees were paid over several years. Last October, the IPL sold two expansion teams, CVC Capital paid around $750 million for the Gujarat Titans, and Sanjeev Goenka purchased the Lucknow Supergiants for about $950 million. The expansion fees will be paid over 10 years and redistributed in equal amounts to the other eight teams. There are two big reasons for the surge in IPL valuations. 